Satan can even use the Bible as he used the Bible against Jesus when he tempted him in the desert. So you should not even believe the Bible, but you should believe God's word. Let me quickly correct you, otherwise you walk out here and say, that pastor says the Bible is not true. Satan will use the scriptures against you too. He did it against Jesus. And I found in my personal life too, that Satan sometimes used the scriptures even against me. So that's why I say to you, the Bible says the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. What is the letter? It is the written word. What is the word? The word is the spirit of that Bible. Amen. Say to guys, I need the spirit of the Bible. No one knows a man's spirit except God. And no one can know God's spirit unless you know him by the spirit. You cannot know God by your mind. Your mind is a liar. So what should you do? Should you cut out your mind? No, no. Put him at the right place and he will not be deceived. Give God a hand. Amen. You cannot get rid of your mind. What should you do? Your mind should never lead. Your spirit should always lead. There's a godly order in everything and the one who ignores the godly order, he will end up in a chaotic mess. And everything that's a godly order concerning you, the first one is your spirit. And your spirit should always rule and lead. Because that's where God speaks to you and lead you and guide you. So the Bible tells us that those who are led by the Spirit, they're the sons of God. Let me tell you, those who are led by their minds, those who are led by the emotions, they're deceived and get distracted by Satan. You can never, many people get inspired by anger, frustration, circumstances. Circumstances shape them and shape their minds. And their next step, they get shaped by the news. They get shaped in the emotion. What they hear in their minds or what they hear with their ears, they meditate upon. And they, their character gets shaped by that. They even believe things that are not. Because you cannot even believe everything of the news. Because it's maybe correct, but not the spirit of truth. You say, Pastor, wait, wait, wait. I live in this world. How do you think Jesus survived as a man? By living in the spirit. He did not allow Satan to confuse his mind. So your mind, what should you do? A horse is a wonderful thing. But a wild running horse is a killer. A wonderful a horse is a wonderful animal under control, trained and under control. It's an amazing animal. Your mind is something amazing if you can bring it under control and at the right, in its right place. It's right domain. Your spirit should always lead. And your mind and your soul should be at the right place, never in charge. Because the mind cannot be trusted. Many people, their minds determine what they believe. The emotions determine the way they act. But Jesus said, those who are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. You say, whoa, pastor, Jesus is in heaven. He's not here on earth. He was on this earth. And he lived a life among sinners. And he had to survive too. And had to protect his emotions too. Because around him were many enemies. The scribes, the Pharisees, the hypocrites were always challenging him. Even lawyers challenged him, challenged him. So he had to live in the spirit in order not to sin and to survive spiritually. So we know that he never committed a sin. So he was successful. Why was he successful? Because he always obeyed the Father. How can you obey the Father? By living in the spirit. A person that lives in the spirit cannot make a mistake. He cannot sin. He cannot even make a mistake. We make all our mistakes. 
all our mistakes in life we make when we're not in the spirit and we are in the flesh. And the flesh profits nothing. Satan even used the Bible. He will use scriptures like he used scripture against Jesus. So why do I say that? Because I teach you this this morning because you fight the good fight of faith. You don't live the comfortable life of faith. The Bible says you fight the good fight of faith. It is not the easy going, relaxed life to be a Christian. We fight the good fight of faith because Satan is fighting also for your soul. He's the enemy of your soul. And he do his very best every day, every minute to try to deceive you and to distract you. So that you lose your purpose in life. 